Hello fellow artists and welcome back to another video. So today it's kind of like a vlog sort of video and I am going to Hobbycraft. I haven't been here in over a year so yeah the last time I went was when I was about to have my MRI scan and my mum and dad took me as like a <laughs> relaxation sort of thing afterwards. So yeah I'd not been in such a long time and I, thought, I don't know it's like my favorite shop because of like all the art supplies and everything so yeah I went in and I just looked everywhere I it's like oh I just love it does so anybody else love going to art shops and everything I am not sure if America or any other places have hobby craft but it's a UK store that holds all arts and crafts sewing baking um yeah just like clay models and everything so yeah I looked around the art section first and I was really surprised at how much there was <laughs> and I thought I'd be going into this shop to buy so much of it the thing that I do love about Hobbycraft is they sell the Faber Castell polychromos separately so like if you're running low on any pencil you can come to this shop and just grab it Unfortunately, I don't do Prismacolors separately, which is such <laughs> such a shame. I can't remember where I actually got some of those from. Maybe it was eBay? Did they sell them on eBay? I'm not too sure. But yeah, I was just looking through all of the shop and then we came up to some paint by numbers. I realised after doing the review video that I did that I do not like paint by numbers. <laughs> so yeah, I won't be getting any of those and I am really into crochet if you've not been on my channel before or know anything about me I absolutely love crocheting I do not do that sort of thing on my channel but I thought let's take a walk down and see if we can find any like Christmas yarn I was actually looking for the Lily sugar and cream yarn but they must have stopped doing it because I couldn't find it anywhere but yeah, there's some di um, diamond painting kits and then there was some punch needling which I did do for the first time last year. I think I did an alpaca kit or something. Alpaca punch needle. But yeah, here's some of the yarn that I have seen. <laughs> I don't have these yarns. I don't even know. Like my brain is fried. But yeah, it was really, really quiet in the shop. Which is a good thing because I get really anxious when it's really busy but I didn't go on my own, I had my mum with me and I'm actually pretty proud of myself for getting out and socialising because it's been such a long time. But yeah, here's some Christmas fab fabric and I was thinking the first thing I thought was like, oh Annie would love this type of thing. So yeah Annie, if you're watching, get yourself down to Hobbycraft, <laughs> they've got some really really nice fabrics and things you'll actually see some later on in this video as well yeah we're taking a walk down the bakery aisle i think it's bakery yeah bakery stuff and then it's moving on to the sewing as well and there's quite a few sewing machines but here was some baking recipes now i am going to be doing a vlogmas which is a video not every day but once a week so i like vlog my whole week and then I'll like upload it at the end and have it as like a Christmas vlog. But yeah, I was saying back then that I'm gonna record some baking videos in that. We're gonna make some red velvet cupcakes, I think. But yeah, this is the clay section. I was talking about how I used to make some clay models. I think it was the clay pencil and the clay B. <laughs> Which I sold in my Etsy shop for a little bit, but yeah. Then I was like waiting for this lady to move. <laughs> I bought myself a new tripod to film on my phone and I was really anxious about filming in the shop, but I got over it eventually. <laughs> but yeah, here's some other Christmas things. I just love Christmas. Such a lovely time of year. And yeah, I was talking this about how the snow looked real. But looking back now, it doesn't really. <laughs> fake snow on the uh, wreath but I did come into the shop to try and look for these mini cross stitch things 
like the Christmas ones. And then this is right at the front. Just look at this. Look at these fabrics. I could have bought all of them, but the problem is I wouldn't really know what to do with them. <laughs> so yeah. Very, very pretty. I was actually talking to mum, but she wasn't beside me or behind me. <laughs> I went back to the sketchbook section just to have one more look around to see if there was anything that I'd want to buy. I could literally chuck everything in the shop into a cart and take it home. <laughs> but then I'd not know what to do with it. It's exactly the same as the upgrade Christmas box. Instead of an advent calendar, they came up with like a Christmas box and put everything in there. And I also was thinking about getting some of these watercolors, but I think they'd be really cheap and not sort of look good enough. If that's the right thing that I'm trying to say. <laughs> but yeah. Then we moved on to the range. I looked at a few art supplies in the range and yeah, that's about it. Just like that, I am back home from the shopping trip out. I'm really proud of myself because I haven't really gone out in social situations for a really long time but i thought i'd show you a little bit of what i got i didn't get very much but i did get this mini cross stitch christmas one i also got another christmas one which is a snowman i'm thinking of turning them into like christmas cards i think once i finish them and the last thing i got was this b crochet hook holder so if i can open this i will show you so yeah, you can keep all your crochet hooks inside and that's all I got. <laughs> I didn't get any art supplies. It was really tricky because I'd or I've already got like all the art supplies that I need but it was really nice to go and have a look around and I can't wait to go again. Hopefully it won't be too long and yeah I hope you enjoyed this little mini vlog video. If you'd enjoy it please leave a like, comment down below your favourite art supply and medium and yeah share with your friends subscribe for more and i will see you probably tomorrow or tuesday for the scrawler box unboxing okie dokie bye bye